Today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect vanilla cupcake. You will be shocked by how tasty it is. It's actually my friend's favorite thing that I make, my most requested item ever at Preview Kitchen. If you like my videos, hit that like button. Let's get started. First off, we're going to be sifting all of our dry ingredients into a large bowl. I have one and two thirds cups of all purpose flour. So sift it out. Sifting is important because one, it aerates things, helps you mix things up together more easily, and it prevents any clumps from getting in. Quarter teaspoon baking soda, a teaspoon of baking powder, one cup of granulated sugar, finishing off with a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. Now we'll whisk it all together. Before we start with the wet ingredients, we're gonna separate the egg whites from the yolks. We're not gonna use the yolks this time just because they're a little bit more yellow than I'd like and I wanna keep that cake nice and bright and white. Into my bowl, three egg whites at room temperature, half a cup of sour cream at room temperature, and half a cup of milk. I actually like to use warm milk for this. Three teaspoons of vanilla extract. Now let's give it a whisk before we add our next ingredient in. Our final wet ingredient is three quarters of a cup of unsalted butter at room temperature, and I get a ton of questions on the blog about this step of the cake. You're gonna add it into your batter. You can totally use an electric mixer. Mine broke, I just never bothered to get a new one. So right now you can see the butter is all clumped up. It almost looks like cottage cheese. That's fine, because now we're gonna fold in our dry ingredients and it's gonna be all okay. Now we're adding our dry ingredients to the wet. It's a really simple recipe. And just mix it in. Now it's time to add your cupcake papers into that tin. I'm using an ice cream scoop to add in all of my cupcake batter. It really helps me get an even amount of batter into each cupcake. You're gonna bake these at 350 for 15 to 20 minutes or until the centers are set. You might wanna turn it around too if your oven has some hot spots. I'm making just a simple vanilla buttercream really easy, just like three or four ingredients, and it's a crowd pleaser. If you wanted it to be even smoother and creamier and less sweet, you can click up over here for my how to make Italian buttercream video and give that a try. Really tasty, and if you think that American buttercreams are too sweet, Italian buttercream is for you. All right, into my standing mixer, I'm adding in one pound or about 450 grams of unsalted butter at room temperature and I'm using a paddle attachment to whip this up. Now we're gonna mix on low for like maybe five minutes or just until it's really creamy and soft. Okay, my butter is really creamy and very silky as you can see. Now we're going to sift in two pounds of confectioner sugar in two batches. So sift in a pound, mix, sift in the rest. If you think, oh my gosh, this is so much sugar, you don't have to use this much. It's to taste, it's like any seasoning, like salt or pepper. For this type of buttercream, just add as much sugar in as you'd like. Cover with a tea towel and mix on low for just a couple minutes until the butter is incorporated with the sugar. Now we're gonna add in a little bit of vanilla for flavoring. Give it a mix. You can see because only half of the sugar is in here, it's almost a bit soupy. It's not gonna be holding up its shape. And it's time for the rest of the sugar. I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of cream, just a little bit of a drizzle, so the consistency is nice and creamy, but still stiff enough to decorate with. I'm also adding in a healthy pinch of salt to counteract all of that sweetness. It's a nice balance. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of milk in just to get the consistency right. I want you to see that this is really nice and creamy, not a lot of air bubbles, and the taste is perfect. Snip the tip off of your piping bag, add your desired tip. I'm using an 846, which is a large closed star tip, but use anything that makes you happy, and then add all that buttercream into your piping bag. Now it's that magical moment where you're adding that dollop of buttercream on. So just by the way, yes, you could add a tiny little schmear and it would taste delicious, but I love this over the top look. These cupcakes are a treat, so go ahead and add as much as makes you happy. I'm using that 846 tip, but just by the way, you could also use an 8B, which is a large open star tip or really anything else. I'm squeezing the bag and lifting up very slowly, which gives me this ruffled effect. You can also move your hand around just a little bit back and forth to increase the ruffling. And then when you're done, you're going to stop squeezing as hard and pull up. I wanted to see how these cupcakes would look with some confetti sprinkles, kind of into it, 
kind of not into it. These were so simple and easy to make that you're gonna be very torn between wanting to keep the recipe a secret so that you are like the master of vanilla cupcakes and wanting to spread it to all of your friends so they can make you some vanilla cupcakes. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.